Hi everybody, it's Heidi. I uh, just want to do a quick project share. Um, it's a frame that I altered for my BFF um, for Christmas. Unfortunately, I'm giving it to her a little bit belated, but uh, anyways, she I hope she will like it. So um, I've been really loving this whole altered frame thing. I've been doing it quite a bit and I find it's really satisfying and it's so nice to do something like this and give it to someone they just love them. I did a couple for Christmas and they came out pretty nice and, and they're just, it's just a really nice gift. People seem to really like getting these altered. They're so different, you know, so um, I've been having a ton of fun uh, altering the frames. So anyways, here goes. Um, <clears throat> there it is. Uh, that is my BFF and her two beautiful daughters. So uh, what I have a tendency to do is if they pay, put something on Facebook, I save the picture and then I can do whatever I want with the picture. Um, so anyways, I'll get right to it. Uh, the paper that I used here, which is in the background, was the Garden Party Tea, or excuse me, Garden Tea Party Stack from DCWV, which I love. The tones are really pretty in it and it's got a lot of, um, it just, I love the birds and the flowers are pretty and just really, really pretty. Pretty paper, I like it. Um, it's got teacups and super cute. So, um, so uh, the frame itself was just a brown frame, very basic, nothing, nothing, just kind of a darkish brown. Um, so I gessoed it up a little bit, well, probably a couple layers of gesso, and then I just started spraying it. And I used various sprays between uh, Glimmer Mists and Lind Lindy Stamp Gang. I also think I even used a couple of. Um, Oh, perfect pearls. I'm pretty sure I threw a couple of those in there too. So, um, really just kept spraying it and spraying it until I got the color that I really liked. So, um, and I really am happy with the way it came out. So I did that first, got the frame all painted, and then I worked the picture up on the, there's three layers of paper. I'm not, I hope there's no glare, you guys. Sorry if there is. Um, three layers of paper paper here. There's one way in the back and then I distressed all the edges of the paper and uh, inked them with a vintage photo um, as well as the picture itself. I distressed the picture and put some ink on that as well. And um, moving around, this is just a cutout from the paper, a piece of the paper. The lace here is from Lavish Laces from Gisela's store and that was white and I inked that as well with some vintage photo and then just some flat back pearls here actually that my sister Jeannie gave me so thanks Jeej for that. I love those flat back pearls are nice to work with. Um, this would be a Butterbee Scraps filigree was one piece I cut it in half and just stuck that down and then put the um, flat back pearls in there. So I really liked that. And I had those on there. I had the, just these on here for most of the project while I was working on it. And every time I looked at it, I thought it sort of was missing something. So I set those on there and that sort of set it off, I thought. So um, so this corner is, I got a key over here, which is a memento key. I got a couple packs of um, memento items from my girlfriend at work. So um, a memento key here. And this is one of the Tim Holtz pen nibs, which I put in the center of the butterfly that I also cut out of the paper collection. And I loved that there. I thought it looked perfect there. Um, and it says thoughts on it. Uh, but I had to, I rub and buffed it because it was silver. So I kind of didn't really want it to be silver. So I rub and buffed that. Or no, excuse me, not rub and buff. What is that stuff? Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, that is rub and buff. Yes, it was right. Um, and then another Butterbee Scraps uh, Gold Leaf. These are both Wild Orchid Craft flowers that I sprayed. And this one was white. <laughs> I ended up spraying it blue because as I got working on this project, I'm like, I got all those beautiful pink shades and pale pink tones and <laughs> their shirts were blue. And I felt like, oh, I really need to stick a tad bit of blue in there somewhere. So just to kind of sort of pull it all together, I sprayed this blue. Um... And then just a little bit of, I think this was a Lindy's that I put on here just to shimmer that up a little bit. And then on this side, I have a twig, which is, which came in a pack, uh, which came, you know, like my mother bought it. She probably had them for, I'm telling you, 20 years. And she was like, here, can you use these? So 
Uh, I got some of those and I actually gave some some for my sister, but <laughs> she forgot them when she was here at Thanksgiving and I don't dare ship them, so I'll have to give her her the next time I see her. But So I put some, um, some of the uh, snow techs on that. And then I sprayed it with uh, some of the Perfect Pearls so that it would be kind of shimmery. And I'm not really sure if you can tell. It's got a little bit of shine there to it. Uh, so I thought that looked really pretty. Again, another memento piece. The Owl is, um, which again was with one of the two packs. She gave me two packs. So I really love the Owl. And again, I had to rub and buff him. And then two more Wild Orchid crafts here that are were both sprayed. And then another little tiny blue one there. Again, just to bring out some more blue. Um, and then the letters were plastic letters that I had, just clear plastic letters. So I took those and I put them on the piece of the paper with the glossy accents. I actually tried a couple things. The Mod Podge didn't hold. They popped right off. And then I tried some plain wet glue and that didn't hold either. So I went with the glossy accents and it worked fine. And then I just cut them out around the paper and then inked the edges of, the, of that so it would be, so it kind of, um, you know, sort of blend in with all the other inked stuff. Uh, the edges of it, I really, actually, all I did with the edges was I put some gesso on there, of course, to cover the brown. Same thing with the back, which there's my name tag. Um, and I actually just used some of my gelatos on the edges, and then I also did it on the inside here, too. Um, used my gelato, and then, oh, I think I might have... Yeah, I think just I I think I just gessoed it and used two different colors of gelato, which I think was this brown and this gold maybe, or maybe this pink, or maybe all three. I'm not sure. They're the only I only have four, of them, so. Um, but anyway, so that's what I did with the edges just to sort of finish them off. And yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully see her pretty soon to give her this. Um, I like it. Came out pretty good. I think she'll like it. She uh, she is. She is one of my most sweetest friends. Uh, she's one of the nicest, best people I know, and uh, I'm pretty sure she she will she will cherish the fact that I've given her a photo. Probably that she wouldn't have put in a photo album herself or anything. So uh, I uh, I'm looking forward to giving it to her. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.